I'm going to demonstrate now how I use Kodak CareStream 3D imaging software to virtually place an implant. Again, I'm going to start in the orthogonal slicing view. And so just to get oriented, here is the 3D image. The three windows here are color coded. Uh, green is the green slice. This shows where in the arch this lower slice in the lower right is oriented. And again, the axial slice yeah, it shows you where it is. You can move those slices back and forth in the orthogonal slice by placing the cursor over the semicircle and holding the left mouse button down. You can see in the upper right how the slice is moved through the scan. And in the lower right, you see where that what that slice is. This is the width of the slice. If you want to thicken the slice, you do that. Uh, usually, if you thicken it, you need to change it to MIP from average. Next is to go to the curve slicing. And in this place, we see right now there is not a curve. So we need to create a curve. This is the create a curve, uh, manually create a curve. You go uh, left click, left click, left click, and, and this is where you want this curve to be. And when you finish, you do the double left click. Now we have uh, kind of a pseudo pan. You can move these uh, dots around a little bit to put where the curve actually is. is. This is the mouse button. When you click on that, you can either change it to zoom or to uh, slide. I've now changed it to slide. This icon is activate the nerve canal tool. This just traces the nerve, makes it a little more visible. So if we do that and then we rotate the mouse button, we kind of left click where we want this nerve canal to be. And you can actually move to a different view if you want in the same uh, thing to kind of illustrate where the mental nerve comes out. So now, and when you get to the end, you just simply double left click. So now you can see in the 3D view how that nerve is embedded in the bone. And so when you rotate the slices, you can see where the nerve is. Now I'm going to place an implant. The uh, This blue line is where you're going to place the implant. So you can move it back and forth. Let's say we're going to place an implant there. If we want to measure. This is the measurement tool. We can see that between the cortical plates, we have about four millimeters there. We do it again from the crest of bone to the canal. In that area, you have 13. So now we'll go to the implant tool. Uh, we'll pick a, a, an implant that is this one here. And so we'll say OK. And it places the implant where that blue line was. Now you can change the angle of it a bit. Uh, and it, it is now in all of the windows. So here it is in the three-dimensional view. You can see how the uh, long axis lines up, and you can see if it's in bone. You can go to the uh, axial slice and scroll through it to see that it's in bone all the way. And you can go to this view down here, and again, as you slide through, you can see that it's well clear of the of the bone. I'm sorry, well clear of the nerve and is uh, uh, in bone all the way.